As scientists work to find a vaccine for COVID-19, experts are reporting more representation is needed from the black and brown communities in order to save the lives of those who have disproportionately been impacted by COVID-19. BNC's Brittany Jones joining us now. And uh, Brittany had the chance to speak with an anatomy and uh, physiology expert, uh, Kennesaw State University in Georgia, to talk about the importance of getting black and brown people to be a part of those trials but doing so safely. Yes, Fred, reports show there are at least 38 vaccines and clinical trials on humans already in the works, plus another 90 or so are in the preclinical phase in animals right now. And here's the numbers. According to the CDC, COVID-19 cases for black people are 2.6 times higher than whites, 4.7 higher in hospitalizations, and 2.1 times higher than whites in deaths. This is why Dr. Carla Hawk tells me the vaccines are so critical, but it's easy even more important to get it right. Obviously, what people want more than ever is a vaccine. So sure. talk about the concerns that people have right now, because not everyone is for going through those vaccine trials, and we, we need to see it across all communities. That we have sort of a historic inequity that exists um, in our communities of color, right? We think there, there has been a history of medical experimentation, and um, in, there are infamous cruel studies, right? This is the Tuskegee experiment. There's been the abuse of patient samples. Um, the fact that in our communities of color, particularly in our Black community and our Hispanic community, they are fair for all of those reasons that I just mentioned. They are faring this virus far worse than our white populations, right? And so because of that, it's even more important to get our communities of color involved in the development of the vaccine but we have to be sensitive to the fact that it's these same populations that would have concern and reservation about participating in those sorts of trials in the first place. What would you say to get people to say, you know what, this is very important. We have to make sure this gets done so they possibly need to take this, make the sacrifice. That with transparency comes trust, right? So if you have um, when you have pharmaceutical companies that are partnering with the communities in which they are trying to recruit patients for trials, right? You have to build those. You have to build those relationships with people um, that are already well trusted by the communities. Um, it's important for you to be involved because we are the communities that are most being most affected by this virus. So it's most important for us to participate in those vaccines to make sure that they're safe for everyone in our community. So we're not saying that it's going to be anything earth shattering, that the vaccine is gonna magically cure us all, but it can help and it can help stop that spread. There is a possibility that if we don't have enough recruitment from our communities of color, um, it could potentially delay any sort of vaccine coming out to the general public. And we just wanna make sure that any sort of vaccine is safe for everybody that, that wants to take it. And Dr. Hawk says she's keeping her eye on the trials in the works. And so far, the Moderna vaccine trial says it actually has sufficient representation among demographic groups. And she tells me it's good to see the COVID-19 Prevention Network has launched an initiative with the faith-based community to get more black and Latinx communities involved in the trials. Fred? All right, good information, Brittany. Important information at that. We'll take a break here, but when we return,